In other news, during overnight arrest operations in the West Bank, the IDF opened fire at Palestinian security forces in a case of alleged mistaken identity. But according to the official PA Wafa News report, Israeli forces patrolling near Nablus fired at a building directly and without justification, lightly injuring one Palestinian security officer. And in a statement released by the IDF, it was then confirmed that a supposed firefight broke out between IDF soldiers and persons who were identified by the troops as suspects with relation to terrorist activities. After the fact, however, it was determined that it was Palestinian security personnel, and the incident will be investigated. There were no casualties or injuries among the IDF. Meanwhile, Palestinian sources say that they assume the incident was a misunderstanding that will not deter cooperation with the IDF, especially since both sides see security coordination as a necessary tool for maintaining stability, in particular during these financially harsh times. The governor of Nablus, however, Ibrahim Ramadan, added to the report that Israel had not notified the PA before entering the city, contrary to normal procedures. Additionally, he said the IDF's supposed goal was to kill, as the bullets broke the windows and hit the offices where the PA troops were. Still, the IDF regularly patrols the West Bank in coordination with the PA, and Israel made at least 18 other arrests in the West Bank over the same evening.